the first time I've ever had a MacBook. I've had it about a month, and I played around with it a little bit. Uh, but to actually get into GarageBand and learn how to make podcasts and uh, you know put sound effects and cool things like that, I think the kids are really gonna like it a lot. Yeah, you can see look how much fun I'm having. I'm having so much fun. We're gonna make a newscast, a school newscast of it. So I'm excited. <laughs> I want my students to uh, do history lessons for history class. I teach reading and we're going to collaborate on some projects together. So we're making a podcast. So we had to record our podcast and then now we're going to go back and edit it. Kids love to hear their voices. Uh, it's a great way. We can put them on the website so we can send the actual files to parents through email. Um, so I definitely see a lot of applications. You can use it from preschool all the way through high school. It, it is a wonderful tool. Fantastic. And things that we have never been able to do with computers, we can do them now. Podcast works for students who learn auditorially and auditorially is that right? Sure. It is now. And visually. It also gives the uh, students more ownership and allows them to have a more, <clears throat> maybe a more authentic uh, learning experience. It gives the students constant access to the curriculum because they can go back and rewatch something they might not have gotten the first time. We've been learning how to use GarageBand yesterday and making iMovies today and hopefully we can take this back to our classrooms and incorporate it and let the, the students use this technology to understand the concepts better. Um, I just uh, told about teaching kindergarten at Lone Oak and I'm going to let my kids each say their name and something about themselves. It's a way that you can incorporate the creativity into a lesson, teach the children the creativity, and once they've got that, they can run with it. Today I learned a lot about digital storytelling. I'm excited to use this in my classroom. I think that my kids are going to love it. Um, I think it is going to take a lot of organization, but you know, if we take it step by step, they should be able to do it and tell their stories in a creative way. Well, I actually, I thought I knew a little bit about the computer already, but now I've found a lot of easy ways, and already getting ideas of ways I can use it in the classroom. Um, I'm excited about the recording, the podcast, because I think we can make audio books for everything that we read in our classes easy with the kids reading. So. Um, sometimes these days, like today, make me nervous, and I appreciate the way that we all felt relaxed today and the um, camaraderie and everybody working together was really a lot of fun. So. It's really exciting to see these teachers take the technology okay, and then let them become facilitators of the learning and pass that technology and put it in the hands of their students because that's where the learning happens with the students.